Hello friends, good morning. Welcome back to our channel ALP Talks, General and Electrical Aspects. This is your Lakshmi Bharti. Today uh, we are going to discuss five innovative topics. So let's go into the topics. One is uh, paddy cultivation on plastic bottles on terrace. Another one, device that detects gas leaks. Another one, green material from plastic. Fourth one, electric cargo, three wheelers. And next one, vegetable market generating biofuel and electricity. So, wait, wait, let's go into the details. So, paddy cultivation on plastic bottle on terrace. This is the picture, you can see it here. So, paddy cultivation on plastic bottles on terrace. Titan Sam Joseph and his wife Celine from Kotayam, Kerala experimented with the rooftop paddy forming using mineral water bottles during the COVID times. They used 175 empty bottles. The bottles were cut horizontally and the lower part of the bottle was filled with water. The top portion, the tappers, was uh, then turned upside down and filled with uh, cow dung, soil and then inserted into the lower part of the bottle so as to submerge it in water. After this, uh, the seeds are planted and they could cultivate around 4 kg of rice. No pesticides is used, no couple the couple also maintaining fish farming in a tarpaulin pond and vegetable garden on the roof. Very interesting, right? You also can start this. Yeah, another innovative topic, the device that detects gas leak. Whatever you are seeing on the right side is the device, very small device. So we can get, let's go into the details. So 16 year old uh, Shiv Kampani, a student of Dhirubhai Ambani International School has created Sensef a device using IoT that detects gas leaks and alerts users and uh, fire brigade via SMS and calls. The device senses the level of LPG, other flammable gases and smoke. It then compares this to a set of uh, literature values, a fixed threshold and checks if there is actually a gas leak happening. It can send an SMS, email and make an automated calls to your mobile. In case you are busy, it can also forward these calls to the fire brigade. It is a palm sized unit that can be fitted anywhere in the house. The prototype which awaits the patent is currently installed in Shiv's home and also at robotic center where he is a student himself. So this seems very interesting, right? Many people may think that yeah, we don't need uh, all these things, but yes, where uh, most important things are there where life is most important, where many, many people uh, are getting gathered, uh, such as temples and some places, these things are in, these things, uh, it's better to install. Yes. Next one. Green material from plastic. Uh, are you thinking, how we we'll made uh, green material from plastic? It's black? No, it's not like that. Uh, it is uh, like a concrete structure. Let's go into the details. So, green material from plastic. Teenagers Swastik Padma, Mangalur developed an eco-friendly and low-cost material from LDPE waste plastics and a blast furnace slag. The composite is made by mixing granulated LDPE, low-densified polyethylene and waste plastic with uh, GGBFS, ground granulated blast furnace slag in the proportion of 60 and 40. It is a 24 times stronger. 12 times cheaper and 8 times lighter than concrete. The material can not only cut down the CO2 emissions in the cement industry but uh, help make homes by reusing non-recyclable plastic. Since it is a non-corrosive material, it can also be used to construct barriers along the seashore to prevent coastal erosion. He was uh, conferred the prestigious national award for exceptional achievement for his excellence in the field of innovation by President Ramnath Kovin on the occasion of Children's Day. It's very interesting, right? Very good initiative. So next innovative topic is electric cargo three-wheeler. ETO Motors commented commercial deliveries of its flagship electric three-wheeler cargo vehicle Bulky for the grocery e-commerce platform. It is a high-speed L5 category cargo electric three-wheeler manufactured by Keto Motors, the subsidiary of ETO Motors. It is equipped with seat belts for the driver and an option of 
having adjustable bucket seats for the driver. The product has the largest tires and quality suspension, aluminum chassis as well as ABS panels. It gives a range of up to 120 km in a single charge and comes with a regenerative braking. It has a load capacity of over 800 and a camera with a screen also. So top speed of uh, 45 km per hour, 5 kW AC induction motor, it, it, it consists of lithium ion battery of capacity 168 to 224 ampere hours, gradability it is uh, around 30 degree, gradability is uh, generally 45 degree means I serve. it can climb any angle of 45 degree, regenerative braking it is uh, around 30%. Yeah, it, you can see the picture, the everything is perfectly aligned, so the LED lights, the, the suspension system, the, the disc braking system and the uh, seat of the driver, everything, it is very small vehicle but uh, uh, at the same time powerful one, yes, very nice, right? So this is another innovation topic, so vegetable market generates biofuel and electricity from waste, so let's go into the details. Vegetable market generates biofuel and electricity from waste. Boinapalli vegetable market, Secunderabad is a convert the vegetables, fruits and flower, flower waste into power sources and organic manure. The vegetable waste collected is a first put on conveyor belts that carry the waste to the shredders. The shredder waste is then converted into slurry and put, put into large containers or pits to start the process of anaerobic decomposition. The organic waste that is generated is then converted into biofuel which comprises methane, carbon dioxide as the two major components. After this, the fuel is put into 100% biogas generators which converts the fuel into electricity. The energy generated is being used to power street lights, shops and administrative building, coal storage unit and the water supply network in the area. The biofuel is being used in the market's canteen replacing LPG. Apart from producing electricity, biogas, the plant is also generating organic manure for farming. The plant is generating around 500 units of electricity. However, the entire market needs around 800 to 900 units of electricity daily for its uh, operations. So almost 80% uh, of energy now the plant, the market is able to produce on its own. So very nice. So let's uh, join with us to congratulate all the 5T innovative topic people so that uh, you also can get a better idea so you also can start in your own way. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future updates. Thank you. We will meet in next innovative topic.